Art can send powerful messages, and tomorrow it will help tell the stories of drug and alcohol addiction. Kelly Kellyvoke takes you inside the gallery for a glimpse of what you can expect. Carrie Keough has been in recovery for 25 years for multiple addictions, including alcohol. She'll open up about her journey at the 10th Tall Grass Recovery Art Show. The Sioux Falls artist will have several pieces on display. This shares our story, but then it's left to their interpretation of what they see in it. So my whole story is in these. Christian Olson, who's also in recovery, is featuring a piece as well. The left is the broken version, the right being the recovered, and looking back and being able to see yourself and looking at yourself. And the show has grown over the years. The first one only featured about five artists. This one, happening tomorrow, will showcase the work of about 30 artists. When you come to the show, you get the opportunity to see you know, as a witness to people's lives and how it has been affected, but then you get to meet the artists as well and see, you know, like we're not the person under the bridge or, you know, I mean, I think the stigma has gotten better through the years that I've been sober, but it's still out there. But art is one way to share stories and help break the stigma. We can touch people this way where we can't in other ways. So whether it's this, whether it's dance, whether it's music, whether it's speaking from a podium, whatever that is, it takes what it takes. In Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. Now the show runs from 5 till 9 central time at the uh, Post Pilgrim Art Gallery in the lower level of the Last Stop CD shop on East 10th Street. And while this will be the last Tallgrass Recovery Art Show, Zeke says there will be more art shows to come.